The WWE Draft takes place tomorrow and there is a lot of hype surrounding it this year more than ever before and the reason is because with Triple H in charge, people are excited and hopeful that this is going to be a true draft that shakes things up for the WWE and it honestly feels like it's going to be a reset for the entire company because this is the first time that Triple H is going to completely book things. WWE is even planning on making brand exclusive pay-per-views come back which is a huge thing that shows you that the draft and the brand split is going to be taken very serious. That is how you know things are going to be different this time around. Before we do get on the draft picks, I do want to say that I think there needs to be two brand new general managers for Raw and SmackDown. Teddy Long is supposedly, reportedly going to return, and I would love to see this man return as a SmackDown GM once again. Ain't nothing better than him booking a tag team match with The Undertaker. If it's not him, I would honestly be happy with anyone else. Anyways, now let's get back to the booking of the draft and let me show you guys how I would split up the rosters making a perfect draft. Let's get right into the first pick and SmackDown selects obviously Roman Reigns. This was obvious. The undisputed WWE champion should be the first pick of the draft and he is staying on SmackDown. With the number two pick, Ross selects Cody Rhodes. Cody is WWE's second biggest star right now. He must be the second pick and WWE has to keep him away from Roman Reigns until WrestleMania next year. With the third pick, SmackDown selects Rhea Ripley. Since she is the SmackDown Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley is coming to SmackDown. And because of that, the number four pick, Ross selects Bianca Belair. Therefore, Ross taking the Raw Women's Championship to Monday night. And with the fifth pick, SmackDown will draft the Usos and Solo Sokoa, bringing in the entire bloodline to SmackDown. And this is a direct order from their first draft pick, Roman Reigns. With the sixth pick, Raw will be taking the Beast. They will be selecting Brock Lesnar to come to Monday Night Raw. Even though he's a part-timer, they want to make him exclusive to the Raw brand. Number seven, SmackDown selects Austin Theory. The United States Championship is coming to SmackDown since the seventh pick is Austin. And because of that, the eighth pick, Raw will draft Gunther the IC title. The other mid card title has to be selected, and that's why Gunther is going to be drafted. Gunther's beaten almost everyone on SmackDown too, so it's time for this historic title reign to to continue with new challengers. The number nine pick SmackDown selects the Judgment Day. With Rhea Ripley on SmackDown, WWE has to draft Finn Balor, Damian Priest, and Dominic Mysterio to SmackDown, and they will do so at the number nine pick. We've also got to continue the story between the Judgment Day and the Bloodline. With the 10th pick in the draft, Raw will draft Seth Rollins. I was going to book him to head over to SmackDown, but with the new world title, he's going to win it and lead Raw as the main guy, so he's got to stay on Monday nights. SmackDown is going to shock everyone and draft the returning Randy Orton with the 11th pick. This, of course, is if he's healthy. I think Orton and Reigns should feud for the Undisputed Championship over the summer. That is a big-time summer feud for SmackDown. Raw will be drafting Drew McIntyre. He's leaving SmackDown and joining Raw as the number 12 pick in the draft. While Orton and Reigns will be SmackDown's big time summer storyline, McIntyre and Rollins will be Raw's summer world title feud. With the 13th pick in the draft, SmackDown will take Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, the undisputed champions, but they will split the titles eventually down the line. With the 14th pick in the draft, Raw will be taking Becky Lynch. Number 15, SmackDown selects Bobby Lashley. Number 16, Raw is drafting the returning Biggie, who's going to shock everyone and come back to WWE. He is healthy. He's ready to go. Hopefully that is the case. I heard that there are rumors, and I think Biggie would fit perfectly on Raw. With the 17th pick in the draft, SmackDown is selecting Bayley. With the 18th pick in the draft, Raw will be taking LA Knight. He needs to leave SmackDown. All he does is lose. You know what? On Raw, he can get a fresh start, which is good for him. The 19th pick in the draft, SmackDown will take Charlotte Flair. She's staying on SmackDown. With the 20th pick in the draft, Raw will be taking AJ Styles, another returning wrestler from that ankle injury. He is back and he's staying on Raw, and I think he could even feud with Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight title. The 21st pick in the draft, SmackDown will select Rey Mysterio. They've got to continue the Dominic Mysterio and LWO and Rey Mysterio storyline, so I would book him to go over to SmackDown. With the 22nd pick in the draft, Raw will be taking Sheamus, and I honestly think you can make a case for making him the World Heavyweight Champion down the line if you really want. The man is putting on bangers after bangers after bangers. The 23rd pick in the draft, SmackDown is taking edge. He is coming back to Friday Night SmackDown where he belongs. With the 24th pick in the draft, Raw is selecting Bray Wyatt, and hopefully he can also get a fresh start on Monday nights. 
The 25th pick SmackDown and Fox is selecting Omos. I think he's got a lot of potential and he's going to most likely have a feud with Roman Reigns very soon. So you got to put him on SmackDown. The 26th pick in the draft, Raw is taking the Street Profits. 27th SmackDown selects Matt Riddle. 28 Raw selects Braun Strowman. 29th SmackDown selects LWO. Number 30, Raw drafts Shinsuke Nakamura. Number 31, SmackDown drafts Chad Gable. And this is where he's going to get that big push. Number 32, Raw. Raw selects Bronson Reed. Number 33, SmackDown selects Xavier Woods, meaning Big E is on Raw and Xavier is on SmackDown. And with the 34th pick, Raw selects Kofi Kingston. So that separates the New Day even more. I think Xavier Woods has got to shine by himself on SmackDown and Kofi Kingston is also healing from an injury. So the New Day will be separated for some time. The 35th pick, SmackDown selects the Viking Raiders. The 36th pick, Raw selects Asuka. The 37th pick is Butch, but this time he will be changing his name. He'll be going from Butch to Pete done and it'll be in the mid card division with the 38th pick in the draft raw will take the miz and i honestly think the miz can also make a run for that world heavyweight championship because honestly the miz is very underrated and could be a great champion if they want to make him a champion if not he can at least compete for that title with the 39th pick in the draft smackdown will select the maximum models the 48th pick raw will take carrying cross and i know he's not doing so great on smackdown but I think he needs a fresh start. You got to give him some sort of new character and, and do something with him on Raw. Maybe that'll help him. The 41st pick in the draft, SmackDown, will draft Dolph Ziggler. He's going to SmackDown. It's been a while since he's been drafted to that brand. Number 42, Raw takes Johnny Gargano. He is currently recovering from an injury, but I think once he's back, he'll be a great addition and asset to Monday Night Raw. The 43rd pick, SmackDown, takes Mustafa Ali. The 44th pick, Raw will take Tommaso Ciampa, another wrestler recovering from injury and if anything DIY could return and that's why I put them on Raw. The 45th pick SmackDown takes Alexa Bliss. She's currently away from WWE but I just put her on SmackDown because I don't want to see her and Bray Wyatt ever you know in the same segment. They got to be completely away from each other. The 46th pick in the draft Raw takes Ricochet. So you know what you can throw him on Raw in the mid card division or you can book him with Braun Strowman. The options are there. The 47th pick in the draft SmackDown drafts Elias. The 48th pick Raw will select Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez. The 49th pick SmackDown takes Baron Corbin and now we get to some NXT names. Not too many but just a few because I don't think Braun Breaker, Carmelo Hayes or any of those guys are leaving NXT for some time. So the 50th pick Raw will select Cora Jade. The 51st pick SmackDown will take Tyler Bate and the 52nd pick and last pick of the draft Raw will be taking pretty deadly and that is how I would book the WWE draft. I I think it would be a perfect draft at, at least in my eyes I might have missed some people but I don't think those people are too important or impactful if I did I'm sorry and you could even comment below where you think those people should end up but anyways with the finalized rosters between Raw and Smackdown who do you think has a better roster is it Raw Smackdown or is this an even draft let me know your thoughts in the comments below thank you so much for watching I'll see you all in the next video